So what would he have learned from that match, though? Because that was quite a steep learning curve for him, wasn't it? Oh, it was, yeah. It was a big learning curve. I mean, Josh has never been... Sort of, he's had, he's had 18 fights, 18 wins up until then. And he had really had it all his own way. He'd never really been tested. He'd never been troubled. But for the first time, he had someone in front of him that he was giving as good as he was getting. He was getting big blows back. And uh, I dare say it, 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 was a bit, it was a bit frightening as well. But mm. he, when he, took his, he got put down, he got up, he kept his composure... And he, he, he got the job done, which was well, brilliant. I mean, it's, it's, and, uh, it's, like so many people... It sounds like a stupid question, but, uh, but, uh, but I mean, obviously nobody likes being put down in the ring, but he specifically won't have liked that, will he, because he is a perfectionist. Oh, yeah, 100%. I, but I could tell he had that little grin on his face. When he, when he got put down, it was like... He yeah, got me a good shot. It was like respect, and, and, and that's... He's very respectful when, he, when I had him in the gym. He's a lovely person. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about, because he was sort of 17, 18, and we've, got, we've just shown a picture of here uh, of you two together. Um, and you said you could spot oh, that talent from a really early age. So what was the young... I mean, he's still young now, but what was the, the very young Anthony Joshua like then? When he came in at 18, he was really bubbly, happy-go-lucky uh, chap. Sometimes I have a little bit of hassle with boxers and with, like, they want to have it outside. Never, I never had any trouble with Josh. He was very respectful, so uh, really good upbringing. Obviously, his parents taught him right. And uh, as I say, he was he was going, he was got into a little bit of strife on the streets. And boxing gave him a real focus in life, and it and it made him the man he is today. I think. So I mean, it was his uh, it was his cousin Ben who uh, brought him in. I think originally he just came in for a fitness class, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. I think it was like. Ben, ben, ben said to him, Ben, ben uh, Alimi, who was one, who was one of our a boxer at the time in the gym, he said, come, why don't you come along to, uh, to the boxing club? It'll get you off the streets. So he was like, it was really just a, as like a hobby, but Josh fell in love with it. When he came, I took him on the pads for the first time, and he had immense power. He was so strong. And I was, at that age, like 18, I thought, he's punching like a grown man. And I, I knew there was something there. And... It, it's in proofs in the pudding now with where he is. Look where he's got in such a short space well, of time. Well, also, you've got the scars to prove it, haven't you? <laughs> no, yeah, I put my... Um, if you look at my hand, I've got a scar. He, he actually broke my hand when I was doing the pads with him. He bent my hand back and uh, I ended up having to have a bone graft. So oh, my gosh. It just says for the power he's got. My goodness. It was actually, if you see the scar... He's meant to hit the pad in the middle and he hit me at the top of the hand and that bent my hand back. But because we teach the boys not to show no, no pain, so I carried on working with it for about a week. And then the pain just got too bad. I had to go and get it checked out. So, yeah, because you and couldn't show any pain good. either. <laughs> no, no, I just had to keep, keep a straight face. And I'm like, inside I'm crying. But it's like, on the out, obviously on the outside, it's like you're taught... From a very young age as a boxer, I started when I was 12, so you're taught not to feel any pain. Mm. And it does make you a little bit heartless. And do you know what, though? He hasn't forgotten you, and he hasn't forgotten the club, and he obviously knows that, that you and, and that club played a, a huge part in his career. And um, he did pay you back quite nicely recently, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He, um, he, come, he come down... It was about... must have been a couple of months ago. He come down, he said, he had a little chat, we come in, had a laugh. And he said, come outside, I've got something in the car for you. So I've gone outside, and there's a big brand new black BMW. And I'm like, he said, that's yours, that is. And I'm like, oh. no, shut up. And he's gone, no, look. And he's, he's got, he had my name on the number plate, and he's got a little engraving on the ashtray in the, in the car saying, God bless, and Finchley ABC, Sean Murphy. Oh. And it's just like, I said to him, Josh... I was like, I was speaking. Normally, I've got a lot to say, but I was speechless. <laughs> I, was I bet like, you were. 